First, I have to, to, to thank organizers for inviting me here, uh, be part of this panel, which is uh, actually challenging, and to explain why I've been uh, trying to uh, include everything in, in what I'm saying to cut in eight minutes, because it's 6.51. Uh, and uh, the reason for doing that is that circular economy is a different thing to different people. Uh, European Union has its own concept of uh, circular uh, uh, economy, as also the green growth is green growth, differently seen from the side of business and from the side of civil society, from uh, indigenous communities to uh, those who've been thinking to be the leaders of newness and uh, technologies of eco-friendliness for the future. Uh, but I would like to start with uh, a one uh, very important quote from Rabin and Tagore, his stay birds. There is a, a lovely uh, idea to have always in mind when we talk about what is it to what and to whom. And I'm looking through all this circular economy and green growth and ever greening growth and ever blueing growth, you know, through the eyes of uh, 17 sustainable uh, development goals. And uh, today I also used to make a combination, and this is a Kenzo new perfume, which is called World, and I put 17 uh, uh, goals uh, uh, here on uh, this palette color we have from our organizers, making something which is actually innovation by using old and something totally different. So you can be eco-friendly in different ways. But anyway, uh, what Ramin and Tagore said is, uh, quoting the sun, who is there to take up my duties as the setting sun? I shall do that what I can, my master, said the earthen lamp. Can we all be an earthen lamp, trying to do what we can? Uh, and first, what we can do is to think with five Ps. It's planet, people, prosperity, peace, and uh, partnership, and 17 development goals but not as we mainly been thinking as the means how we can be uh, more efficient, but how we can be more effective. And that's why I use uh, this uh, visual uh, aid to explain what's the difference uh, with effectiveness and efficiency. With efficiency, we've been, been thinking about growth and economy in terms of doing right things over a short time to minimize negative impact. And that's important, no, there is no doubt. But what we have to do is doing the right structural things strategically to improve quality and performance of a long time of achieving actually sustainable development goal eight and all its targets. Uh, I would like also to see uh, and give you the, the idea that I put through define, locate, analyze, design, and verify, and whoever is interested could read the whole presentation. Uh, having in view what is different to different actors, how they perceive what is circular economy and what kind of growth they want to achieve. But very often we forgot that uh, UN Agenda 2030 is quite explicit which economic growth it wants to achieve. That it must be sustained, that it must be inclusive, and it must be sustainable at the same time. So it means that it is not possible to take only environmental dimension and not taking social and economic ones at the same time. The, finding the right balance is actually the challenge of today for the future. And that's why, you know, I put that roadmap for determining what the EU circular ec economic transition to green growth actually is trying to be with a uh, circular economy package and action plan, with all uh, based hierarchy, with uh, uh, streams, uh, and also with something important, everything that money is actually the driver, that uh, a business is going to drive the change, not that we all together are actually uh, prosumers and consumers, and also measuring especially uh, the um, achievements so far of Sustainable Development Goal 8 in the European community. And what I would like to show you, and that's why today I choose to have some friends with me who used to be once upon a time something which is a great improvement leading to a more sustainable future. This is straw, plastic straw, it is forbidden. This is forbidden, it's from Monday. This is forbidden too, these plastics too. So 
just be a bit uh, with sense of humility when we talk about knowing what the future is, what achievements we are going to make. And these plastic bags, you know, are feeding more fish than they use now the plankton. So all these, you know, are friends of once upon loved growth, when we believe that we have right economy, right on track. So it's all produced from oil, and it's now forbidden. So uh, I would like to show what I think that actually is happening with the green growth and circular economy in the European Union. It's not only misplaced institutionally with a DG environment, but it's also been thinking that everything is going to be a, a, a money and it's some kind of a swallet or a sink which uh, green growth is slowly going. And uh, eight waste in plastic waste management I took, uh, you know, as an example of our dear uh, forbidden friends from Monday, uh, how it's now in defects, what we have as a problem of, of production, because China is simply uh, cut the access to their market. And that's the main important thing. And we now come to the Europe, in, in Europe to think about uh, plastic waste management in terms of are we going to bury perhaps till we have better technology? Because now with the recycling, we uh, actually do more sky fill and water fill than we actually uh, uh, do uh, make our landfills less and less. So landfilling is not the problem. The problem is how we think and that more humility is needed and actually sustainable development goals are asking for that. Now I'm trying to show you what problem Serbia has. Uh, first, because uh, in showing you on, on some, something which is the influence of actually adoption of uh, a European Union acquis. We are trying to have separation, but we don't have primary separation in our houses. So what's actually is happening is that uh, at the same time, we have two different systems of municipal collection of waste. And you see, uh, I made this is in front of my house, and I've been doing you know, a field research for two weeks, measuring how much waste is in what we've been. And uh, what I come as a conclusion, yes, uh, is actually quite easy for you to see, that it's incoherent, that bottom line is less weight than it's expected, and we don't measure it at all. Uh, there is no idea of uh, uh, thrower pace. Um, second or third project by project turns that you have two different systems or three different systems at the same time, uh, just in 100 meters uh, direction. People are untrained, individuals, and you will see uh, we carry our uh, waste in our bags and turn them you know, in the first bin, which is uh, in front of us, especially when you are uh, distinguishing your cigarette on, on the tree in front. And also there is something important. You see the carton boxes outside these things. Why? This is for Roma population, because they live on, on carton boxes, and uh, that's why uh, I think that transformational transition at face of Serbia is another primarily linear economies in the BBS region to the circular economy for regenerative growth is upcycling, uh, especially in waste governance. And redefine uh, is something which is most important that we are not taken, you know, as business or uh, consumers, but that we are actually all consumers. Uh, rebalance, holistic, all the dimensions of sustainability might be rightly balanced. We have to revalue re actually uh, what we mean by waste. What is old, what is new, what is innovation. How innovation is made actually of, uh, for how long something is going to be innovative and positive, and how, how, when it's going to turn into plastic, which is forbidden. Redesign, and with one word which is very important for Japanese, and it's motenai. That means actually uh, finding second life for your old things. Do first think what you actually can do with all things you have. It's not only simply uh, uh, cutting off, but be thinking about regrowing and rethinking so we can become more resilient, having more improvements, more uh, upward movement, and a more intersectionality because our sectoral policies are not always taken all together and integrative. So comments, questions, more information, I'm here uh, to have all your comments. Thanks again for inviting me here and listening. Thank you. Thank you.